say we are sorry we may have to relieve you, your child it is not your child's being dull it is called the waster there is something called the waster in scripture is someone learning the waster demonic attacks are real I assure you by God demonic attacks are real Satan attacks men he attacks ministries I told you that there are demons allocated over territories there are spirits allocated over you know generally believers to stop the purposes of God but there are spirits that are allocated they follow mantles they follow offices not men whoever holds that office and holds that mantle will have to contend with that spirit there are spirits that follow ministries not men so there is a widespread manifestation of certain disasters how will you like to be part of a ministry that you hear that in one month 25 people just died mysteriously it will now make sense to say that could it be that something is happening and in in, in peace you will leave that is Satan for you. I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, every attack. Because some of you, you came to church tonight. You are in the middle of an inexplainable battle. Rising from left and center. What is happening in my life? God, give me an explanation. And I'm telling you that for many of you, it is just an assault, an attack from Satan. Now listen. One one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health listen listen this health you see i know that there are many doctors here and with all due respect i honor and i respect you we're having a training already for medical practitioners but can i tell you with all humility i've been in this business of ministry and the spirit life for a while i know what satan does it is impossible for satan to attack you and leave your health is a lie how do you know mysterious manifestations they first start small he tests your capacity in the spirit and then you keep quiet it's just continuous headache that comes every month it's just it's just some demonic thing um help them please I, I know that this thing i'm just feeling serious pain i went to the hospital and they said it's nothing um it's just a it's just a mild bleeding situation it, the, the doctor said he does not understand but he's still there i just know that every time i lie down i see myself in a coffin somewhere and i wake up tired my friend get up from the strength of spiritual intelligence and begin to deal with that issue otherwise you would destroy your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with you. there are certain tiredness that is not because of the work you are doing it's an attack from hell hallelujah heart pain headache and they tell you they found a tumor at the back of your head how did it get there we don't know what is going to happen now you need 10 million 15 million and you've saved just when you save to finally build a house i tell you it's an attack don't smile and say it's all right it's just part of these things hallelujah it's good to eat well walk with what the doctors say i eat well i make sure i eat healthy don't be careless but in addition to it please come to terms with the fact that we live in a real world and don't let satan lie to you taking advantage of age you are not the first person to be old refuse that thing that the older you are getting the more you should deteriorate i don't know about you but i choose to reject it no as my days are so shall my strength be this is what my bible teaches me if you don't believe this you will get into trouble one day you will wake up a young man 30 40 years you stand up as if you are 80 years reject that spirit It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. My body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head, my heart, you wake up too. My respiratory system, you must wake up. 
body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer. I cause fibroid. I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe what you are doing? Satan attacks men. He attacked Jesus. He attacked the apostles. He attacks everything pro-God. He attacks everything pro-grace. He attacks everything pro-life. He attacks everything pro-destiny. He attacks everything pro-wisdom. Your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Your business was working well. But the day you said I would take 20% out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children, maybe young people who cannot make it. Satan said, what did you say? That Jesus will benefit from this business? All right, I'm on my way coming. Hallelujah. Someone wants to bless you. That's when they forget. Someone promises to lift you. That is when they forget. They vow calling the name of Jesus that this week you will smile. That is when they forget. It's your assignment to force them to remember. No, no, no. Listen, if you are a businessman here and things have not been working, please, when it's time to pray, I'm releasing my faith with you. Be serious and pray. Be serious and pray. Don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator. The arm of flesh will fail you all. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You go to bed and you see yourself in a grave. Wake up and close that grave. Wake up and close that grave and curse the spirit that dug that grave. Hallelujah. Parents, don't watch. You see what? I'm not scaring you. But you see the kind of disaster that is happening? Bless your children. Speak over them. Declare that you go out and you come in. The Bible says you're going out and coming in. You will not go out and get missing. You go out and I expect you to come in. No one chance. No satanic driver. Anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children. In the name of Jesus, I said minus you and your children. I'm not wasting your time. When the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this, it is because he's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things. For some of you, you have lacked discernment. For some of you, it is carelessness. For some of you, it is, what's the third one? Ignorance. For some of you, abuse. But for some, you've done everything right. Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Doors, close, help us, go away. Jobs, whatever it is. People who used to like you and want to help you, they see you and they say you are such a nice person. You have a great heart. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see how I can help your family. How about those who even go through the interview for the jobs? They've called your name. They've told you everything. They said, all right, you'll hear from us in two weeks. Two weeks have become two years. In destiny, your portion does not come to you. You force it to come. 
Did you hear what I said? He said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violence. And ladies and gentlemen, the spiritually violent will take it by force. Ministry will not rise till you force it to rise. Your finances will not rise. It will go up and down. He says, strong men retain wealth. You need to know how to command your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me show you a key. I want us to pray. I don't want time to go before we pray because I have to fulfill this assignment. Let me stop here and show you a key. I don't know how many you can take, but I want to show you the keys for total deliverance. You need the key. You need the key. Knowing what God wants to do does not make it happen in your life. You must know the will of God and the strategy to bring that will to pass. Learn this. It is not enough to know what God wants to do. The knowledge of the will of God does not translate to experiencing his will. You need to know the will of God and then in addition, know the strategy. The pineal gland has tiny little cilia, hair-like extensions all around it. When you hold your breath and you finally let your breath out and you allow that cerebral spinal fluid to accelerate, the acceleration... For many people, they know what God wants to do, but they do not know the strategy. They were not patient. God told you, I will do this in your life. And they just said, Amen. If Listen, 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 listen. Thank you, Jesus. God just put this in my heart. Listen. It is God's will plus God's strategy that equals God's dimension of results. God's will plus your strategy will not work. You can know the will of God. God wants me to do this. God wants me to go here. But if you don't stay, usually he does not reveal his will and his strategy at the same time. You need to have spiritual understanding to know that if you have received a blueprint of God's will, then stay until the strategy comes. Just because he wants to give you Jericho does not mean you, you invent how to defeat Jericho. You may use a sword and die like he did not direct you. It is God's will plus God's strategy. God says you should start a church. Let him give you the strategy on how to build it. God said you should start an NGO. Don't invent your strategy. God will never speak to you and not give you a strategy. It's just that sometimes a strategy does not come at the same time. You have to wait. Your matching order is when the will and the strategy arrives. Did you hear what I'm saying now? God said he will give me a house in Abuja, you may say. That is true. But by what strategy? You have to wait. God said I should relocate to Abuja and come and do ministry. But what strategy? You can hang around this city for forever and find out that doors does not open for you because the strategy is not there. God said I should expand my businesses to Europe and America, you may say, and then you just get up and start doing it in the flesh. Most times the trouble is, is not that people did not hear God, is that they do not know that in actualizing prophetic things, the speakings of God, it is the knowledge of his will plus the grace to stay until you receive the strategy. The moment the strategy comes, the miracle is about to happen.